Hey everyone, Jace for with my latest update from my 1960 suburban home. Well, I have the door and window placement. I ran into a problem though. I need eight more of these six by six tiles for the driveway. Not enough. These are the one by two slopes I was mentioning. So I need 50 of these. I knew I was short on the brown. Now the 1x4 tan palisade bricks are hard to find. I find these in every color but tan. It seems like nobody carries these in the quantity that I need. Now for the doors. I am short three fancy doors. Yes, I'm actually short on doors. I have a whole giant container full of doors. Lots of lots of doors. Just not the ones I need. So that's probably the only challenge. I didn't make an order and I got everything but this brick. At least these parts are not critical. I can still build up on the house. Now I have the thicker windows in the front because this part's going to have the siding. So I had to plan out the roof tiles. This roof is going to be a challenge. It's going to be one giant piece. More like the older suburban home that I had made a few years back. So it's starting to look more like a house. I have a few tutorial ideas that I want to explore on this. I have some of these 8 by 16 tiles and they almost worked in the garage except for one spot here. I might end up maybe adding some jumper plates or something in this area just to attach toolboxes and a washer and dryer. Have some of these 1 by 6 by 5 transparent wall elements. I wish these had a frame. They don't. But I'm not going to complain. At least they're windows. They let a lot of light inside the country kitchen. Overall, this project is turning out great. Now, the original floor plan of the house had a slider up here in the top right. I'm debating if I should put a slider in there or should I put French doors. I'm thinking of putting French doors in there. Be something different. So I think the next update will be walls. I'm ready to do some walls on this. Now, I'd like to do some of this in live shows. I will have the link posted on the website that I will be using for the live shows below. So you guys and gals can check that out. All in all, this is one fun build. Even though I haven't put a lot into it yet, the next update is going to start looking like a house. I already can think of two tutorials already for it. And these blue doors right now, these are the only three remaining doors that I need to replace. Those are closets. This is going to be my first house that's actually going to have closets in every room. So you got the two closets here and a closet here. Now, the original house had bifold doors. Well, Lego doesn't make bifold doors. I wish they would make two small doors that will fit in a single frame. That would be cool, like cupboard doors. But I'm satisfied with it. So, if anybody's got any ideas for furnishings, I'd like to hear them. Because that's another thing that I'm going to have to build, is furnishings for this house. That's a long ways away from that. I'd like to start on the furnishings, though, to start filling this up. I don't want to make this house without any furnishings. It won't really be a house without it being lived in, right? Well, that's it for the update. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. 
Make sure to turn on the notification bell so you know when I'll be uploading a new update. Thank you for watching.